Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. <laughs> a big old rule set today, but an absolutely fascinating idea. I don't know what's going on in this puzzle, but I look forward to finding out. Um, so, first of all, two days ago, we dropped on Patreon our new patron reward for March, a seven puzzle pack called Evening Attractions, in which every puzzle features a negative constraint of some sort. Um, and they're really interesting puzzles. We're getting a lot of very positive feedback from the people who've solved them. And it's a slightly harder set than recently, I believe, because, um, well, maybe partly because the first two versions needed tiny fixes. Um, the first 20 or so correct entries took a little longer to come in than usual, but very well done to anybody who's got through them all, which is quite a few people now. Um, so they're very popular. There's always extra content on Patreon. Simon's longer Sudoku solves or my marathon crossword solves or other things that go up during the month. Check it out. Also, strongly recommend that you check out our, um, our apps, which are linked under the video as well. Um, we have nine fabulous apps with some great names having contributed puzzles. We're trying to put together a new one as well, so we're looking forward to bringing that to you in due course. Loads going on as ever, and there's Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise as well. So all highly recommended stuff, of course. But so is this puzzle, apparently. So Doubling Season by Synthetic, whose first appearance it is on the channel. And I'm going to go through the rules. There are a few rules, but actually that's because there's little extra symbols in this puzzle, but they're very obvious symbols. We will, we will go through the rules and we'll try and understand what's going on. And there's, it's called doubling season for a reason. There's a doubling reason for doubling season. Okay, let's go through the rules and see what happens. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So at least we're putting one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box. Good news. A digit in a circle indicates how many times that digit appears in circles. So if there was a five in a circle, there are five digits in circles in this puzzle. That's how the counting circles rule works. Now, apart from counting how many digits are in circles, all circle digits are also double in value. E.g. if a nine is circled, the value of that cell is 18. Now, for what purpose do we use those values? Digits don't repeat in a cage and values sum to the total given. So the values of these three cells are 25, and that includes two doubled digits. A number outside the grid, that's 80 in both cases, indicates the total value of that column or row. So those cells add up to 80, counting the circles as double. Cells separated by an equal sign must be of equal value. <laughs> That's a very unusual rule. Um, an inequality sign points towards the lower value of the two cells, so it is, just means that is greater than that. Cells separated by a white dot must have consecutive values. Do be aware of where it says values and where it says digits in the rules, because that matters. Digits along an arrow sum sum to the digit in that arrow's circle. Now, it doesn't matter on this arrow whether it says digits or values because none of these are circled. In fact, it specifies in the rules that this circle is not one of the circles that we're talking about in the puzzle, that grey circle. OK, so that is not double in value. Right, so those are the rules. Give it a try. I don't know what we're going to find here, but I'm looking forward to finding out and restarting the clock. Let's get cracking. OK, I see a 15 cage with no circles in it. So that is the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the triangular number for 15. Oh, and I see a 3 cage. The triangular number for 2 is 3, because 1 plus 2 equals 3. That's about all the freebies, I think. Um, right, the first thing we normally do in circles puzzles is count the number of circles. And there's a large number in this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5 more is 20, 5 more is 25. Doing them in fives in every region, that's 30. Another 5 there, 35. Another 5 here is 40. 
Are there five in every... Yeah, there are five circles in every box. I didn't expect that. And that's got us to a total of 45, and I really didn't expect that. Well, that... Okay, I was expecting a total that was less than 45, and we would work out what digits were not in circles. But, basically, these circles... 45 is the triangular number for 9. And that means that there are nine nines in circles, eight eights, seven seven, six sixes, five fives, four fours, three threes, two twos, and a partridge in a pear tree. So all of the numbers are in the circles. One once, two twice, etc. Nine, nine times. So every box, every row, every column has a nine in a circle. Okay, that's an interesting finding. Maybe it's not that surprising looking at the grid. I certainly didn't appreciate that there were five in every box. That's interesting. Are there also five in every row and every column? I bet there are. Oh, that's a very interesting construction. It looks like there are. Um, I don't know what that means for us. Oh, I'll tell you what I do know. One, two are not in those cells. That's Sudoku. I'm better at that. This is one, two, or three. Actually, what about the 80? Because I mean, this, I've almost given away the secret that we occasionally share with our closest friends, and that is that the digits, and this remains true, the digits in every row and column and box of a Sudoku always add to the same total, which is unsurprisingly the triangular number for 9, and is 45, because that's the sum of 1 to 9. But the value of this column is 80. Now, the difference between 45 and 80, which is 35, is the, is the digits in those circles, because they're getting counted twice. Aha, so 35 distributed amongst five cells must, that, that all see each other, obviously, in the same column. They must be 98765. Those values will add up to 60, because it's 30 times two. And these others, which will be one, two, three, four, will add up to 20, will add up to 10. Hang on. I've lost the run of myself here. No, these are, sorry, the values of 98765, 35 times 2 is 70 plus 10 outside them. Yes, that is right. Okay, I lost my mind for a moment. So in this row, again, we can put 98765 in the circles. Everything else is 1, 2, 3, or 4. And there is only one place left for five in the cage, and we've got our first digit. It's a five. Hurrah! Now, what else is going on? We've got that ten cage, and I don't really believe in it. Well, I mean, I don't disbelieve it, I just don't think it gives us anything. Ah, we've got this 11 cage with a doubled value. Ah, that has to be a 5 as well. So 5 is our second digit as well. Because the candidates were 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you double 6, you've shot over the total. You've gone bust in uh, blackjack parlance. So there's a 1 there. These are not 5s anymore, nor are those. Got to be careful to... Oh, that has become not a 5 since we got that. There is a 5 in one of those two cells. Now, what's going in the circles here? Oh, that's interesting. It's not 6 and 7 or anything higher. Because if you double 6 plus 7, which is 13, you've bust 26. Well, you've reached 26 and you've still got a digit to put in. So, one of these digits is low, is from 2, 3 or 4. And therefore, this digit is not from 2, 3, or 4, because one of those is there and the other two are here. Oh, hang on, we know the parity of this digit, because if we double those, we've got to an even number. We've still got to come to an even number after we add this digit counted once. So that is even, that is 6 or 8. These two now add up to 20 divided by 2 is 10, or 18 divided by 2 is 9. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe I should, but I don't. Now, there's only one place for one. We've got two, three, four, triple. That's a one in the cage, and that's not in the top row. 
One of these is a two. So the doubled digit here is either a three or a four. Yeah, it still leaves quite a lot of possibilities. I'm not going through those yet because we're making better progress elsewhere. Now, we've got another cage here. This has to be an odd digit this time because you double those two, you've got even. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not that thrilling, maybe. And I'm not parity colouring the grid because there's not that many instances. Although I find another one here. This, this is odd. This is even because that's doubled. Oh, these, of course, are a doubled set that all sum to 22. So they include a 9 and either 8, 5 or 7, 6. Ah, there must be a 2. Right, what's this double digit? Sorry, what's, what's this digit and what's this double digit? Now, this is interesting because 1 and 2 have been used in the box. If you double 3 there, you put 6 here, and that's possible. But if you double 4 here, you put 4 here, and that uses the same digit twice. If you double 5 here, you need 2 here, and that's already been used. And if you double 6 here, you've gone bust, because you have to put something here. So this is a doubled 3 with a 6. Um, that's good. This can't be 3. We've definitely got a 1-2 pair here. We've taken 6 out of this cage, which is now 9, 8, 5. They add up to 22, double them up to get the value of 44. This pair is a 4-7 pair. Haven't really thought about the circles yet much. Well, I guess we'll get to them. 7 now must be in one of those two cells in this cage. This is bigger than that. Hmm, not interested in that yet. Okay, this is going well now. Ah, there's a two in one of those cells in this cage. So that's a one. Now there's a one in this cage by Sudoku and not a three. So it is either one, two, seven or one, four, five, I reckon. The white dot, that's a value white dot. So we're doubling something here, which isn't a one. So the value of this cell is at least four. And if it's not that, it's six or eight. And this therefore can't be one or two anymore. It can't be four either, because it would be even, and this is even. And the white dot means this must be odd. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, what else can we do? One, two, five. I like this puzzle because you can keep making progress. Oh, one there and one there. There's a one in this cage. Is it doubled? Well, it could be there. And then these double up to a value, well, they, they equal 20 as a value, so they equal 10 as individual digits. Oh, we've got this equals sign, so we double that to get this. So this is 1, 2, 3, or 4, and this is even, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Oh, well, that's quite low. I don't think we can still do this cage, because 1 doesn't have to be either in a circle or there. I, I don't see that we know which one is one. If, if we do, apologies, I don't see it. Oh, we know two is there, so that's not a two either. This is definitely three or four. Okay, four, seven, one. I still haven't done these. Okay, let's think about these two maybe that have a maximum value of 24, which means the digits have a value of 12, or 10. No, I'm doing my maths wrong, am I? 12 or 11, that's it, or 9 or 8. 
I don't know, that doesn't seem to me to be an easy set of possibilities. What about the circles? Remember, we've got to put nine somewhere in every, in a circle, in every row, column and box. Is that diff, well we've put it in one of these. I don't think this is, that's an easy thing to manipulate. It'd be lovely to find one in a circle, because then we could never put one in a circle again, or two lots of two. No, they don't seem to be very helpful. So, should we go back here? Two, three or four there, five or seven here. Oh, that is the big digit in this cage, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, five or seven don't appear here. One does, and either two or four. Ah, oh. so, no, if that was a four, this would be a seven and that would be one, two. If that was a two, this would be a five and that would be one, four. They <laughs> didn't get to rule out anything there. Worth trying, but it didn't work. Um, seven, we know, is in one of these cells. One, two, six, three. What about this? It can't be nine, because nine must be in one of the circles in this box and in the column and so on and so on. In fact, nine can never be in an uncircled cell. That may be the way to look at, at nine. Oh, there's a one in this cage. Now, if we were to put one in a circle, If we were to put one there, these have a value of, a digit value of 12. If we were to put one in a circle with a three here, we don't get to 25. With a seven here, we need eight in a circle. And with a nine here, we can't have a nine here, it's not in a circle. Good point, I just said that. Well, I didn't say, I mean, I said it to you, and, but not about this situation. So, we've either got one there, and this is either a nine, three, or a four, eight pair. Can't be five, seven because of that. Or, we've got one in one of these. This can't be a three anymore. We've got one in one of those with a seven there, and an 8. So this is either a 1-8 pair, or 8-4, or 9-3. And the cage contains either 1-4-8, 1-3-9, or if 7's in the middle, 1-7-8. Yeah, I don't know. Six. Six has to be in one of those cells by Sudoku. And one of those ones. That's not doing any good. Um, gosh. Okay, we've used the clues outside the grid. They're, they're done with. These don't know. 20. These are definitely two cells that have a total of 10 as digits. And you double them both. Fives. One of those is a five. That's not very interesting. Bit stuck here. Let's just see if we can unstick ourselves by some application of some rather brilliant thought. I don't want to have to think about the circles, even though we've had a three in one of them, because they're a bit confusing. I mean, it's just hard to get a grip on what the circles contain until we get much further into the puzzle, I think. There is a one in one of those cells. I'd love to put one in a circle there, because then we'd really be away, but that's actually because there's only one possibility of digits if you put one in the circle. That may not be the way to go about this.
Um, we know fives up there. That's not interesting. Okay. I, I do like when Sudoku is giving me something I can work on, but it, it's not quite happening enough. Now, 21 here. I don't know. I don't know how to work with that. Maybe this, this whole box is, is reasonably powerful. One has to be in this cage. I, I've pointed that out. I haven't really got to grips with using it. Since that has so many possible odd digit fills, it seems a little hard to expect me to work through the possibilities. Let's go back to this 26 cage. Could you put nine in it? And the answer is no, because you'd be doubling at least nine and two. And that gives you 22 plus six there at a minimum is 28. And that busts the cage. So nine is definitely in one of those cells and not in any of these. Ah, now, is that beginning to give us something from the point of view that nine is always in a caged circle? You see, maybe nine, the trouble is nine could be there and in one of those. Okay, let's carry on though. If we put doubled eight in, that's a six. And then we need doubled two. And we can't have that because one of these is definitely a two because that's not. So it's not doubled eight in a circle. So it is either doubled seven or doubled six as the high digit in the circle. If it's doubled six, that's definitely an eight. And that doesn't work because then we're adding up to 20 with the doubled six and the eight. Oh yes, it does work. Then we need a doubled three. So this is either doubled six and doubled three. The trouble is I think there may be two possibilities if it's doubled seven. You either have doubled seven and doubled three and a six there, or doubled seven and doubled... Ah, maybe doubled four can't go in here, eight because it would need a doubled five if that was an eight. If that was doubled four and a six, then we'd need doubled six. And that would repeat the six. Okay, doubled four does not go in here. So doubled three does. But I don't know whether it goes with doubled seven or doubled six. Depends on that. Now, not to worry. At least we can rule three out of those cells, which are now a two, four pair. That puts three into a couple of cells in the grid. Not three in the corner up at the top. This is now two or four. That doesn't do anything for this cage. Three here. Okay, that takes three out of this circle and six out of this equals sign. Takes three out of this digit as well. Now, so this is either, well, if that's an eight, then we have doubled three, doubled six here. And that then becomes a seven, nine pair. If that's six, we have doubled three, doubled seven. I'm sorry, I'm just doing that again. Eight uses a six here. Six is already in the cage. So neither of these is, is a six, is what I'm trying to say. Um, hmm. That didn't quite finish anything, but we got a little further. Oh, seven is in one of those cells, so that's not a seven either. So the possibilities here are reducing. Now, if that's a nine, these two digits add to six. If that's a five, they add to eight. The trouble is, there are possibilities. If that's a one, they add to ten. And again, there are two possibilities. I don't know, I might have to come back to that because it might turn out to be the only way through. 
At the moment, it's not, so I want to do something else. Well, at the, at the moment, I'd prefer to look for something else rather than really focus on what those digits are. However, still haven't put one in a circle anywhere. It's got a possibility there. It's got a possibility here. I'd quite like to find one in a circle, as I said before. Right, what else have we got going on? We, we did well on the middle row early on. That hasn't yielded anything since. That's more likely to be a seven than a four because of the circle rule. I mean, oh, there's definitely a three in a circle there, and there's definitely a three in a circle there. Now, that is two of the three threes in circles that we're allowed. So we're getting a bit close. Chance for three in a circle there or up here. Interesting. So we have to keep our eye on stuff like that in this puzzle. Hmm, it ain't easy, is it? Um, two, four, pair. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. So three in this box is in one of those two cells either a value of six there or an ordinary three there. Now, if it was there, that would be the third three. In a box, in a circle, I mean, sorry, in a circle. Oh, goodness, okay. Maybe I'm gonna to have to come back to thinking about the possibilities here combined with the stuff up here, which is going to do my head in, but I don't see another way to progress, so I'm going to do a little case testing here. So, if this is a 9, these add up to 6. Now, I think they could be 1 there and 5 there. We'd have 9, 5, 1, 2, 3. We'd have 9, 5, 1 here. We'd need to put two in one of those cells. It's not that exciting. And it could alternatively be nine, two, four here. Although that would need this to be a four, so that could be an eight. Mm. Okay, so nine seems very possible. If that's a five, these add up to eight, and they can't be five, three. They'd have to have a one in. So the one would be there, and that would be a seven, and that's not possible, because seven's over here. Okay, that can't be a five. Because one has to be in the cage, and seven can't be in it. Right, that's good. Now, if this was a one, these add up to ten as digits. And they're either two, eight, with a four there, or four, six, with an eight there. If they were 4, 6, and 8, that would have to be a 7, 9 pair. In some ways, it's more likely for the 1 to be here so it doesn't go in a circle, but 9 here makes this 1, 5, or 2, 4, with either of the 5 there or the 2 there. You can't put the 4 there because 2 would be there, which would put another 4 here. So if it's one there, then these add up to, we can't use one there, these add up to a value of 10, and this is either eight or six. And that would be interesting, because that would make a six, eight pair. So if that's a one, we've got a six, eight pair here. And alternatively, if, if that's a 9, that puts a 9 here. And that reduces the possibilities for these. Not, not enough to really settle our hash, unfortunately. Ah, oh, it's close to yielding, yielding a result. And at least we took 5 out of that cell as a possibility. I can't believe we're meant to look for other circle instances. Oh, mind you, it'd be very interesting if that was an eight. 
because that would be the one instance we were allowed of eight not being in a circle. And then eight would always have to be in a circle in every row, column, and box apart from there. Okay, that might be worth thinking about. Where would eight struggle to get in a box? Well, in this column, eight would have to be either there or there. If that's eight, eight would have to be in one of those positions. I don't know. I mean, we're getting somewhere, but not, not quite at the speed we need, are we? Right, okay, sorry, that, that wasn't working quite. I mean, it's close, it's close, it's close, but it doesn't quite work. So, haven't looked at that white dot. Looked at that one early on. This one, that is a value. Uh, so, it's probably quite a low digit. In fact, it has to be one, two, three, or four. This then has to be odd. Can't be one, because that would require this to be a one. So this is three, five, or seven. Can't be nine, because it's on an arrow with another cell. Can't be three, because there's a three sitting there. Interesting, so this can't be one. This is five or seven. This is nice and low now, one, two, three, or four. Whoa, I've nearly got a triple going on in this row. A quad, I mean. And this is at least six, six, seven, eight, nine. That's high-ish. And not in a circle. Right, it can't be nine, because this, this gray circle is not a black circle. So this can't be four anymore. This is one, two, or three. Yeah, this is getting a bit interesting now. So if this was one, seven, eight, if that was seven, this would have to be eight, seven, one. That would be doubled three or four. This would be a pair adding to 10 that don't include eight, seven, or one. That would have to be a four, six pair, which is quite interesting as well. So that would be eight, seven, one, four, six, a three there. And these would be from, well, they would be two, five, nine. I mean, I'd... it's close. I can nearly rule out seven from here, but not quite again. That would put one here, wouldn't it? Seven there would put one here. Is that interesting? It would keep one out of that circle very unsurprisingly. Okay, let's just keep thinking about this because I haven't got much further thinking about anything else. Now, if that's a seven, that's a one, isn't it? And what does that do in the bottom row? That means this is either two, four, or four, eight. It's definitely using four. So it would make that definitely two, and that one, and that seven. And this has become definitely eight. Oh, it's quite powerful. Why won't it just break for me? Break, break, break on my cold gray stones, oh sea. Oh, goodness, that's so close. I'm sure this won't be a seven, but I haven't, haven't proved it. So if that's a two, this has to be a five. That's another interesting angle. If that's a two, this has to be a five. Then this is a one or a three, and that's a six or an eight. But... Can this ever be a seven? Only if this goes five, two, and that would then be a three. I mean, I can't falsify. Well, seven, two, three, five. This would be one, nine, or four, six. That's not. That's not resolvable. That's very frustrating. 
Now we've got these two digits on white dots here. But they could give the same value in those two cells. Actually, if those were the same value, it would have to be a 7 that went there in row 9. That's... Ooh, I tell you why that would be quite interesting, because those would be the only two instances of 7 not being in circles in the puzzle. Now, that would be a bit interesting. Is it... If we could find somewhere else that four seven out of a circle, that would actually resolve the issue. Well, resolve the issue of these... Oh, I don't know. No, this was all postulated on those being the same. That doesn't have to be the case. Ah, oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Right, come on, come on. We're very close. We don't need much more in this puzzle to get us, get us really moving. But what is the other thing that we need? Okay, maybe I just stopped thinking about the right thing at the crucial point, whatever it was. One of those, oh no, one of those was only going to be a nine if that wasn't, if that was a nine. And that was going to, if that's a nine, it makes this a one. And these have to add up to a, a digit value of 10, which must use a 6 or an 8. It's eight. I, can't, I can't make that work quite. I can't make it give me something definite. Oh, there has to be a 5 in one of these. So I think I've seen that before. I, I don't know, sorry, I'm just probably going over old ground now because I've been stuck for about 10 minutes, I think. That's awful. Uh, well, it's awful for me. Maybe it's fun for you. Seven. Uh, I haven't really looked at that inequality. This digit, mind you, is not one, two, three, or five. So it's four, six, seven, or eight. Some of those have impact on this cage, four and seven, but the others don't. Mind you, this rose got some weird, weird stuff going on, maybe, maybe not. In this column, four, six, seven, eight, nine are the circled cells. And this is an uncircled six. We're allowed three of those only. That, well, that either is an uncircled six or an uncircled eight. It's either the only uncircled eight we're allowed or one of two uncircled sixes. This puzzle really could be about that sort of thing at this point, very frustratingly. It, I mean, it doesn't make it easy. If we're really, if we've really got to think about that level of uh, of problems arising from putting digits in in cells. Wow, I'm a, you know, I don't want to keep apologising too much for not making progress, but this is pretty hard. So if those didn't include a three, they would be a two, four pair. And this would be a five, seven pair. That's not the circumstance I thought about before. Let's go back to thinking about, oh, look, it's that blinking obvious. This can't be a seven because that would be a one and that seven, one pair would break that cell. Ah, Mark, that's a five. It is not in a circle. This is not a 4 now, because that would double up to 8. That is a 2 or 3 in a circle. We're not allowed that many of them. 5 coming out of that cage is useless. It, that is not a 5, though. That is 8 or 9. That is not a 5. There's only one place for 5 in the top row. There it is. That is not a 5. There's only one place for 5 in this cage. There it is. OK, we got a little bit done there. I don't think those are going to knock on to anything else. But one, two, or three there. Six, seven, or eight there. 
this can't be a five because there's no five. In fact, we've, that's not a five. We've placed five in this box thanks to our pencil marking. I didn't see that coming. Those three are uncircled fives. Those three are circled fives. So of the remaining fives in this box, this box, no, that can't be a five. We just put five there. That's a seven. Five here is in, is in that cell, is it? Yes, it can't be in the cage. Oh, and that was one of two places for three. Okay, that works on the dot. Good. And this can't be seven. And that was one of two places for seven in this box. It's a good thing I can remember. This has become a two because of that three. That's good. This is not a two. And that's not a seven. They go hand in hand. That's fine. This is not a seven. Now, I want to say that's not a one. But anyway, I was counting fives in circles. We have got three of them in, but we've got four of them out. So... The other two fives are in circles. One of them is here, not there. And the other one, please work, yes, is there in a circle. Okay, that's all the fives done. Hurrah! Take the little victories. Now, I want to say this isn't a one, but I don't know on the, the basis on which I can say it yet. I'd, I'd, actually, I'd love even more to say it was a one, because then one never appears in circles, and I could stick a one there and a one there. I've already got four ones not in circles. That one is not going to be in a circle. Might be interesting to find the one in the circle, but there do seem to be possibilities on the right-hand side of the puzzle for that. Anyway, we made some actual progress. This is now a two-one pair. Forgotten to do that in the cage. These aren't sevens. Seven, one, two, three, five. These are four, six, eight, and nine in some order, but there's, there's no real markings on them, unfortunately, um, on, apart from the circles in their cells. One, two, three, five, six here. I'm gonna do these as well. Four, seven, eight, nine. Never afraid to make a few pencil marks in the puzzle. One, two, seven, five, three. These are from four, six, eight, nine. And one of these two is a nine. Obviously in a circle. Nine is always in a circle. I haven't ruled that out from being a nine, although I would like to. Now, this can't be a two, eight cage because of that. This is either a one, six pair or a three, eight pair. That doesn't of itself rule anything else out of this. I'm still interested in this row. I wonder if there's any markings that I, sorry, any Sudoku that I should have eliminated now and you're shouting at me for. One of those two is a two by Sudoku. And I've got a two in a circle already. Interesting. The only way to avoid two in a circle in this box is to put it there. With a one there, a nine there. Nine plus two is 11. That would have to be a doubled five. Is that right? If this is a nine, we need a one in the cage. And the other digit would have to be a doubled five. That is right. So that's not a nine. That is a one. I kept postulating that this could be nine and a two, four pair. And that was never true because there was always going to be a one in the cage by Sudoku. There we go. That's something I've been doing wrong. But we get a one there, not in a circle, unsurprisingly. Um, this is now not a one. So that's two or four. That's four or eight. One of those is definitely a four. And these two, as numbers, as digits, add up to 10. So that is not a 2. It is 6 or 8. And that's a pair with that. So that's not 6 and that's not 8. Now, what are these other digits? 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. 
Okay, what about this box? 1537. I don't know. That's 4, 6, 8, or 9 in the row. This is fun. <laughs> but it's quite wearing when you're not smart. Um, three in a circle. Three in a circle. Two threes in circles. And there's a three in a circle here. So, three can never again be in a circle in this puzzle. So there's a three in one of those two cells. That one's all right. Three now cannot be in those two, and that was gonna be a three, nine pair, I think. Three is in one of those two cells, because it has to avoid being in a circle. So that has become a seven. Yeah, that's fine. And this is where the circled three is in this box now. And we can multiply those up to 20. That's a six. This is eight. That's two in the corner. That's four. These are a six, nine pair now. Right. Stuff is happening. That's a four. Unsurprisingly, seven in the circle there. Now, looking along the bottom, we get one, two done. That's a three. That does my arrow. Eight goes there. This pair is not eight, two, or three, seven. It's either nine, one, or four, six in specific orders. Ooh, and there's a seven to be placed there, not in a circle like that one. Those are the two sevens, not in circles. All remaining sevens are in circles, and up here, it's not there, that's now a one. And this pair adds up to 12 doubled, that's a four eight pair. One, four eight, six, three, two, five. This is seven and nine. Seven didn't go in a, seven did go in a circle as it has to. Let's remember seven always has to be in a circle and whack it in there. And there, where it's the only place in row four. And one of these two, we know by Sudoku, it's up there. 418 in this cage, so that's a two. That's now nine, that's eight, that's six. This is happening now, guys. Three, six, nine here. That is six or nine. Weirdly, I don't know anything about those, but seven, one, five, this is two, four, eight. That is now a two, unsurprisingly not in a circle. Might have to do a count of fours in circles in a moment. With sevens were very helpful. This is six or nine, because I see one and four in the row. And that six, nine pair makes this an eight. That takes eight out of these cells. It also makes that a four. This is a one. That's a nine to make the cage work. That's a six. This is not nine. Oh, that's not eight. So four and eight. In fact, this eight is not in a black circle. So all remaining eights are. I, I mean, I have a feeling we're going to get this done by Sudoku at this point which is nice, but it would be nice to uh, confirm or check. We get nine in a circle there where it had to be. I should have thought about that, but you can't think about everything all at the same time, you know? Three there, two there. That's a two, that's a three. This is six or nine. That's just Sudoku, so I'm probably gonna have to do this count. That's not a six. Take that pencil mark out. Ah, oh, we can resolve that six and three. Okay, so, oh, that can't be a four. Six, nine go in there, that works. That's a six, this is not a six. That's now a nine, and these are an eight, six pair. I'm getting to the point where I think I am gonna have to count something like fours in circles. Okay, fours in circles, we've got two there. Oh, we need two more from these places. Right, we're gonna get one there and we're gonna get one there. So we avoid fours in the other places. There we go. 
and that is going to finish us off. We get an 8-9 pair in the central box, sorts out 4-9, sorts out 4-8, 6 resolves 8-6, eight, 8 and 9 here, and I will rely on synthetic to have done the count right. There we go. Um, puzzle doesn't include solution, so I will provide you with a solution link on the version you get to solve. That is a remarkable puzzle, though. Well, I don't know. It's, it's a clever puzzle. Maybe it's not that remarkable, but it's quite hard, and all of the bits came together, coalesced very well for me. I, I like that a lot. 45 minutes solve. <laughs> I know people who think that's my ideal length. For me, that's about half an hour, well, half over my ideal length. Um, but fun to do. And we'll see you again tomorrow for more. Thanks for spending your time with us here at Cracking the Cryptic. We love it that you do. Do leave a comment, especially if you're being nice to me or more importantly to Synthetic. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.